All right, YouTube, Jacob with your gear. Doing a different video. Um, bought a new truck. This is a 2021 GMC Sierra. Um, it's got the elevation package. That's what that says. It's a 5.3 liter V8. You got 20 inch aluminum black wheels, Bridgestone Dueler AT tires on it. Um, it's kind of cool in the headlights. It says Sierra. And they're LEDs. The bulbs are LEDs. LED fog lights. Got the tow hooks. Um, paint match bumpers. So, yeah. Uh, let me grab the remote out of my back pocket. Some cool features. <clears throat> I got the X31 package. The dealership said, I guess, GM is going to, or GMC is going to be doing the X31. Uh, Chevy's gonna be doing the uh, Z71. So as you can see, I got the cargo lighting, and right there, I don't know if you can see because of the sun, but I got a plug in the back. Um, on the back, LED tail lights, uh, dual exhaust. Uh, that's just my old hitch. Uh, there's no. This is kind of weird, but here's the key. Uh, I can lower the tailgate with the key. Or if you have the key in your pocket, you can just press this button. There's no handle anymore. That's another, I guess, just cargo lighting cut on in my backup camera. You push those, and the tailgate falls on its own. Um, all right, so here's that plug I was talking about. So if you want to go float the river or something, you can plug in your air pump. Cargo light over there. Cargo light there. Uh, sliding rear glass. I'm going to get a spray and bed lighter put in next week. Um... Something else cool about the remote is uh, you press this button twice, it opens the tailgate. There's also a button in the cab that'll do that. Um, so it's just, I guess it's probably been standard for a while, but it's new to me. Um, another cool thing about the remote is, let's see, is it locked? All right, it's not locked, but if the key is in your pocket, there's these silver buttons on the door. Uh, the driver's side door, if you press it, it locks all of them. You press it once with the key in your pocket. As a safety feature, it just unlocks your door. Second time, it unlocks all four. Uh, let's go ahead and lock it back. All right, so the key's in my hand. You go to any other door on the truck, press the silver button, and the key's in your hand. It'll unlock all the doors. Um, so that's kind of cool. It's kind of a safety feature or whatever. Um, I wonder if you can lock it from the back. Hmm. All right, yeah, so you press it once, it'll lock everything. See? So now it's locked. All right, so on the door, you know your standard door, got the window lock. Um, that's for adjusting your mirrors. That's the driver's side mirror, your windows. It has some beautiful wood, you know, on the door. Uh, standard doors, you know, slot, cup holder, whatever. Standard door mats, auto controls for the front seat. Um, you hop in right here. This takes you from trailer mode like tow mode to sport mode to uh, normal mode you know auto four wheel drive four high four low two wheel drive your lights i leave it auto this button here because on the cargo lights in the back of the truck uh, and also because on that one on the tailgate um parking brake going here to the dash sorry about the sun get your standard stuff got a screen um hill assist auto start stop this button drops your tailgate in the back Flashers, traction control. This controls a plug in the back and that plug there. This button, you just press it and it lights up green. Uh, standard cigarette lighter, USB, micro USB. Um, seat warmers, you can just warm up your back or you can warm up your butt and your back. Um, passenger side and driver side. Dual climate control. Um, one thing I think is kind of odd is like there's a key. And put your foot on your brakes, press this button, just crank the truck. I think that's strange. I prefer to have a key uh, to crank the truck. Just call me old fashioned, I guess. I don't know. Um, gauges, uh, you know, your dash. Let's get the steering wheel straight. All right. So you press this button down here for your parking brake, and just cuts the parking brake on. It gives you a little light. So at the dealership, mean the dealership lady had a hard time like the sales lady had a hard time here and cut it off you put your foot on your brakes you have to have the truck cranked which gives you a green light 
and then you press this button again, the parking brake button, and it cuts it off, and it tells you parking brake released. Uh, I didn't drive with it on or anything, but it just kind of, you know. Um, down here on the dash, it has your mileage, what, I guess your two-wheel drive, whatever. Um, this side of your truck does the heated steering wheel and your cruise control, your phone. This one takes you through, like, if you press the buttons here, it takes you through your dash. You have your music, um, navigation, your phone, uh, settings. I leave it here with how fast I'm going because I have that, but uh, I don't find this to be as handy because it doesn't really have it marked big for like the 10, 20, 30 mile an hour. And uh, so I like to have that to make sure I don't go too fast because I have a hard time not driving too fast. Again, your dual climate control, center console, cup holders, uh, center console, cup holders. And here you have a light right here. We also have a charging. This is kind of cool. I had this one of my Fords. I used it a lot for work and the oil field. Uh, you can put like those green little file folders here to organize paperwork and stuff. I just have a flashlight in there for right now to my old truck. Um, trailer brake control. All right, so this is what the Apple Play hooked up to my personal phone. Um, you can play your music, all your other stuff, touch screen. Um, um, but the screen when you get in normally looks like this. It starts here, you press Apple Play, it goes there, you can adjust your audio settings and stuff here. Um, and let's see, oh, if you have, so I have an iPhone, but if you had an Android, it has Android Auto. Um, this is kind of cool, you can turn your camera on. Um, if you're not driving, it'll, I don't know how long it stays on, but it stays on. If you are driving, it'll cut off after a few seconds when you start moving. But just, I don't know, I kind of like that because I sit in my truck sometimes and you can see what's going on behind you. Uh, just press the home button. Yeah, music. Let's see. I think it's all right, wait. What the heck? Hold on. It's new. It's new to me, guys. All right, there. Apple Play. And this goes to your phone. Show you your phone, your music, your map. So there's no navigation on here. I thought it was strange. You do it all through your phone. Uh, so I mean, if I wanted to pull up a map, I don't want to do it. And show y'all where I live or anything. But um, you know, it's kind of cool. Um. You got a glove box over here. You got one here, one down here. I'll play on the door. Okay, this is your standard door. Um, let's turn the truck on. And that's kind of cool. It has a message, a rear seat reminder, looking rear seat. So if you have kids and you're a dumbass, you leave your kids in the back, it reminds you. Um, up here on the dash, there's a little cubby hole, a little storage unit. Oh, my rear view camera. Oh, up here. This is how you open the sliding rear glass. Sorry, let's get that better. Sliding rear glass, your garage door controls. Um, I'm not sure what that one does. OnStar, SOS, seat belt, cargo lights off and on. Just stuff like that. Um, yeah, your visors. Just standard. Hello, guys. Filming on the wide phone because I tried this once before. As soon as I created the truck, my phone hooked up and stopped the YouTube video. So this is my second take. Um, because as soon as I started the truck, it screwed that up. Pissed me off. Down here, you got wood paneling. There's also like a little slide pocket here for something. Uh, you have that on both sides. Um, yeah, let's jump out and go look in the back. Okay, I say you got the Bose stereo system or Bose speakers. It's kind of cool. It has really good sound. Um, right in the back. You know, standard controls. This is kind of nice for the kids. You got uh, air vents. My other truck, I had a 2007 GMC Sierra. I didn't have the vents in the back. You said wait for the front. You got a USB, micro USB, and a car charger, like a cigarette lighter. Uh, my other truck did have this. Little armrest and cup holders back here. This truck has tons of cup holders. My kids love this. You open that up like a little hidey hole where they can hide their toys or whatever when we're traveling. Um... The seats lift up, uh, it has a little tray, you know, it gives you more cargo space. Sorry about the light. Um, but yeah, this is kind of cool. Let me put the key in my pocket. Let me zoom out, put the key in my pocket, Let's see. So right here, you push this button, pulls that down, gives you a lot more window. Uh, when you're driving, you can see through your back windshield better. Uh, so it's kind of a cool feature. This button on the headrest lets your headrest here go up. 
or down. So it's kind of a cool feature. Um, but yeah, so this is stock. Uh, I'm only filming this to show, uh, I am going to do some upgrades. I'm going to get some WeatherTech floor mats, WeatherTech wind visors. I'm going to spray in bed liner. I'm going to get a camper shell on the back. Um, I'm going to get a brush guard, maybe replace the whole front bumper. So I just want to kind of bring y'all along on my journey um, of this. So, uh, yeah, anyway, uh, this is Jacob with Good to Go Gear. Um, oh, I got the rear fender well liners. I got front fender well liners also. But, uh, yeah, I'll bring y'all along as I uh, <clears throat> do some upgrades to the truck. So, yeah, Jacob, Good to Go Gear. Thanks.